Well, the Galric Majinska is sort of an unusual and a rare gem. It's one of those galleries that, um, starting with uh, Christina's mother, Antonina Majinska, in 1965, focused early on on well-researched and major publications, um, obviously starting with the Russian avant-garde. So the gallery was definitely a connoisseurship gallery, one that uh, had major clients like uh, Heine Thyssen, uh, Peter Ludwig, very big, important, knowledgeable collectors. Times have changed and we've adapted to the changing times. It's not a gallery that looks back on its past and lives from it, uh, it cherishes it and it takes it as an obligation, but we've gone with the times. And I think one addition that Christine and I over the last 25 years have managed to achieve is that um, we make classic modern relevant for today's times. My grandmother founded the gallery in 1965 and um, she was from Poland and she came to Germany not um, ever having been like been involved with a commercial business. So she worked in a museum in Poland and she opened this amazing gallery in Cologne. She always had this love for art. And um, you know, she opened this gallery out of passion for art, you know, out of like working with artists, working with paintings, something that was a center, I think it was like Cologne in Europe and New York. The major building that we had in Cologne was really architectonically something that um, became a trademark of the gallery. So in terms of branding, I think that had been a very important element. However, the times changed in Cologne, and I think having a gallery which wants to invite visitors and wants to have an active exchange meant to be in a situation and in a location where people would come and visit. And that was decreasingly the case in Cologne. So when we decided to move, as we've had always very, very strong ties to Switzerland, and as we had opened the gallery in Zug in 93, um, it became the more logic choice for us. It has increased the visitors tremendously that we have at the gallery now since our location on Paradeplatz. And uh, the nice part was that we chose a building that uh, has a particular history with the art world. And it's an amazing building, and it was actually the building where there was the first Dada show in the 20s. The central square, like it's opposite, you know, the, um, the central, like UBS and Credit Suisse, and we're next to this iconic chocolate shop called Sprüngli. Like, you know, it's an historic building, but the gallery itself inside is quite clean, like clean, clean lines. So I think Switzerland has a big history of having great galleries. <laughs> You know, it really depends what we're just preparing. We're like, you know, we're not the sort of gallery that reminisces about what we, you know, did before because they're like, I mean, we gave out over 200 publications, made over 200 catalogs, and then it depends. Is there an art fair coming up? Are we just, you know, preparing a new exhibition? So I always love the new project the best in a way. So, you know, I'm always excited being involved in a new project. Well, we kicked it off with a show at Art Basel Miami Beach. Um, where we put together absolutely extraordinary masterpieces in a very unusual setting. And that reflects again a little bit the understanding of the gallery and the programming for this year's anniversary. The title of the show was uh, A Child Could Have Done That, which is, uh, ask any gallerist that shows an art fair, a question that comes up uh, at least twice a day. Um, so if you take that and you turn it around and you say, well, yes, but look at it and why is it relevant? And then you take that together with a contemporary legend like Bas Luhrmann and um, you put it in a historic, contemporary, today relevant context. Uh, you get people to look. I'll never forget that we had this uh, occurrence once that we had an incredible show of uh, various works by Picasso, Matisse, uh, together with Schwitters and Arp and um, being known as the gallery for Russian avant-garde, someone came to the booth and was turning to his friend and said, you see, lovely Russian avant-garde they're having here. So very often people don't look, they think they look, they think they know. So the, the focus for the 50 year anniversary is to make look again. Um, start fresh, look at the old material as well as the new and refocus your eye and your attention through means that are unusual. I think it's a great honor like to have three women working and it's like my mother gives me great freedom like I can you know we can work on different projects together or separately and I think the gallery is really involved like 
when my mother took over the gallery, a lot of post-war work, like the Yves Klein estate and David Smith and um, you know, artists like that. And I've like worked with some contemporary artists. So I think the gallery is always evolving. It's something that's alive and it's exciting. And so I think it's great to work with your family. Mm -hmm.